So to be honest with you, the quarantine sucks. We can't really take divers out. We are limited on how we can train divers, but there are some things that you can be doing now at the beginning of the dive season that's gonna help you once this quarantine's over with. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a time lapse of gear repair and I've actually got an ocean reef mask. And to be honest with you, I've got several different ocean reef products here that people have sent in for me to do some gear repair. And this is gonna kind of play along with this quarantine that we're all in right now. What can you be doing as a diver? Well, in a couple of videos in the past, we talked about doing your online training. It's a great time to do it, especially if you're stuck at home because doing online scuba training is very easy to do. You can do it on your computer, your tablet, your cell phone, whatever uh, smart device you want to use it on. But it's also a great time to get your gear repaired. And there's a lot of dive shops right now that are not open to the public. We happen to be one of the ones that are, even though we are limited in how many people can be in our store. But the ones that are not open, they're still typically doing gear repair. So it's a great time for you to send in your equipment to get it serviced. Give the guys a call, see if they're going to be open, or shoot your local training center or repair center an email, see if they're going to be open for gear repair. Send your equipment off. This is going to do a couple things. One, when this quarantine's over in the next month or so, it's going to make sure that your gear is in good, proper working order and ready for the dive season. Number two, it is going to keep your local dive center or training center in business. Now, we've been very fortunate that we've been teaching a ton of online courses right now, and we've been doing a ton of gear repair, which is typical for this time of the year anyways but it has kept us in business as well and it's something we're very grateful for but without further ado i'm going to open up the box and we're going to get into this time lapse video of how we do this gear repair <music> So now that I got the customer's mask tore down, I'm going to give it a good thorough cleaning. Now I've already disinfected it and as you can tell, I'm wearing gloves. This is something we typically do when we repair gears, but there's no more important time than now to make sure everything's good and disinfected um, because of the virus that's going around. So I'm going to give this thing a good thorough cleaning, make sure we get all the bad stuff off of it and then I'm going to get it rebuilt for him and I do got to give him a call because I did find some things that was wrong with it. If you're familiar with Ocean Reef products, the way their comm units are held on, there's actually three different ways to do it. One is called the NAC system and the NAC system is this little bar here that's got these little plastic tabs and even though I'm a huge fan of Ocean Reef, I think this product here was very, very poorly designed because it doesn't take much to break that little tab off. And where that tab mounts on is to the side of the mask on these little uh, little plugs right there. And that's basically where your extender frame snaps on too, which is the second way to actually attach one of these. The second way is we replace the this NAC system with a new NAC system, which is attached to the extender frame. There is a third way to do it. Once you pull this NAC system out, there's a groove. It's like a belt loop groove here. And that's actually designed to just go straight onto the strap. So I'm going to give this customer a call and see what he actually wants me to do for it. Uh, I know in a, the email that he sent us, he's probably going to want to go with an extender frame as well. So I'm probably going to take the NAC system off for him, temporarily put it on his strap or on his spider strap system. And then when the extender frame um, gets installed, I'll actually snap it on for him as well. And then we'll get him back up and going. But with that being said, I'm going to get these parts cleaned up real good and get them rebuilt for him. And then I'll do another time lapse for you, just showing you putting it back together. <music> Thank you. 
right guys, so I got the mask put back together. I got it cleaned out really good for him, replaced the parts that needed to be replaced. Like I said a little bit earlier, I'm just going to temporarily leave his comm unit here on the strap, and all I did was just threaded it on there um, instead of using the old NAC system. The old NAC system, even though it was a sturdy system, it was these plastic pieces that were not very sturdy, and they broke off religiously. Now, I did have a couple of spares that I offered to put on for him, but since he has decided to go with the extender frame, that way he can mount cameras and lights and everything else, since he's decided to go with that, we're actually going to use the NAC system that comes on that once it uh, gets installed in here. Now, I currently am out of stock because we've been servicing a ton of these recently, but I just put an order in for a bunch of them. Hopefully, they'll be here in the next two or three days. I'll be able to throw it on for him, get his comm unit mounted in, and he will be back in uh, good diving condition. Now, the last thing I want to do, I did test this thing as I was rebuilding it, but I do want to test it one final time now that everything's together just to make sure everything's going to work. So I'm going to plug up a quick disconnect here for him. I'm going to get the air turned on real quick. I don't hear any leaks whatsoever, so I'm going to purge it a couple of times. Everything works good. I can adjust. I can take the crack and pressure out. I can add the crack and pressure back in. I can go from pre-dive to dive mode very easily. And once again, I have absolutely no leaks. Uh, everything should be breathing fine on it. The comm unit, I've still got to throw a battery in, which is going to be very easy to do. I can test the comm unit here on land. That's going to, not going to be an issue whatsoever. But yeah, we've successfully tore his mask apart, rebuilt it. The only thing we have left to do, once again, is add the uh, extender frame to it and throw the comm unit on there, and I can get it shipped back to him. But guys, I can't stress this enough. Take good care of your gear and make sure that you are servicing your gear on regular intervals whatever the manufacturer states or if you dive it more often uh, then you may want to cut that time in half or whatnot if it's a two-year time frame but you're making 100 year or 100 dives in a year you might want to do it every year um, but guys make sure you get it serviced there's no time better right now than uh, with this virus that's going on and with all the quarantines going on there's no better time than to get your gear service because i really hope you enjoyed this video if you got any questions whatsoever please put it down in the comment section below and i'll try to answer it the best i can guys as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business